Okay, look, I go while Wikipedia generally has terrible profile pictures. The non-profit, they don't spend any money on hiring photographers to go out and take photos of celebrities or whatever. And they don't want to risk getting into a lawsuit with some photographer who is maybe a bit behind on their rent and needs a little pick-me-up rent assistance of $35 billion. They can't use any pictures that are tied to copyright in any way. So they have to go through a bit of digging to find, say, a picture of that one MMA fighter that, that only fought twice and, and lost both times. Any picture, front and center will do. But sometimes, even those boffins at Wikipedia who spend 26 hours a day combing over every single citation to delete if it's not a primary source that falls under section 1 stroke B24 slash, slash BBB4181. You know, sometimes even they can't find a decent picture of someone. I've done a video on Wikipedia profile pictures that was still up as of the time of me recording them, which was, I'd say, about a month ago. And if they are all bad, we had a laugh at them. But however, there are some profile pictures that were so bad that even though they were free to use, Wikipedia got rid of them anyway. So if you see my previous video on Wikipedia profile pictures, that's fine. That's good, actually, because then you can decide for yourself if Wikipedia have cleaned up their act since then, at least by a little. But if you haven't, just watch anyway. Watch and have a laugh with me. I alluded to this video at around, well, it was somewhere in the middle of the old video, and I brought up the old profile picture they used for former NBA player CJ McCollum. Notice how I said old. They don't use it anymore. But that picture was up for an embarrassingly long time. Just look at it. They used the one, like, one frame of Paul McCollum just standing there look, looking doped out of his mind. Like someone just beat him over the head while they shoved the whole basketball up their ass while telling him the lamest joke of all time. You know, that face. But not only is the picture, like, blurry and pixelated to living hell, it's not even front and center. What the fuck's going on here in the background? Who the fuck is this guy evolving from a mud kit into a marsh tomb? I have no clue where they got this image from. Maybe it's like a crop from a video? It's probably a crop from a video or just some random picture floating around taken off someone else before a game and CJ just happened to be there in the background. Because that's what happened to Sharif Abdul-Rahim, who was also a former NBA player. Like, what's the NBA's budget supposed to be for like, what, media and stuff? <laughs> Close to a billion? This one doesn't even have his full face in it. So, where's the image from? Here's where the image was from. Definitely wasn't supposed to be taken of him. He's not even really in the background. Like, it's not like he's on the court for like two hours at a time for every game. But no, the only image that Wikipedia could use for a while was one random photo taken before a game even happened. I'm guessing someone just spotted him in the background and was like, oh, there he is. There's his picture. You like sports? Let's talk about sports a little more. What about golf? That's a fun sport to watch. I mean, okay, golf isn't popular because it's fun to watch, but it is fun to play. It's relaxing, you're outdoors, you're playing on pristine, expertly cared for grass, and you can watch the ball you hit go at least 10 kilometers and feel pretty proud of yourself. Although, um, sometimes when you hit the ball the wrong direction and then it goes flying over the fence and into some person's yard, you usually end up looking like the Wikipedia picture they used to use for Jean van der Velde. The dejected look you make when you hit the ball in, into shrubland and you know there's no way you're going to find it again. It's bad enough when your main Wikipedia page states in the very first sentence that you're mostly well known and famous for losing in a dramatic fashion during the 1999 Open Championship. Like you've been working hard to be a golfer, like a professional golfer all your life, but this is your legacy. That opening sentence and that picture right next to it. The opening sentence and picture of utter defeat. And you know what's even sadder? This archive version of his Wikipedia page was from 2016, but that image has been on his, on his page since 2008. Right next to this three paragraph detail of how he lost the 1999 Open Championship and how he lost another championship six years later by again hitting his ball into the water. He must have filed a complaint to Wikipedia after he finally read his article, cried about it and drank himself to sleep that night. Because not only did they finally change that picture, I mean, look, look at him now smiling, it's so much better. But the article doesn't mention his losses nearly as much. 
that big old three paragraph long section about how he lost the 1999 championship. That's still there, but at least they included the times where he actually succeeded and, and won a championship a bit more. So, well done, Mr. Van de, de Veld. Well done, Mr. Frenchman. <clears throat> sports. Let's talk about sports again. For a group of celebrities that you only have to pay, what, like a, a ticket fee to go and watch and take a photo for yourself, they sure do have some bad pictures on their Wikipedia pages. A group of rowdy fans who are numerous and, and support a sports league should probably take some better pictures of their English Premier League stars. For any Premier League fans wanting to take some better pictures of their favourite players, I suggest you keep your camera a bit more safe. Because then you won't have to resort to using an old picture taken in the early 90s for one of the most well-known defenders in Manchester United's history, Dennis Irwin. And it wasn't like you couldn't find him and take a picture of him after he retired from the Premier League in 2004, a full 12 years after this picture was taken. He's been a sports presenter and commentator in his native Ireland, you know, since then. He even covered Ireland's coverage of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. So what's up with this random picture of a dirty alleyway in Manchester that he so happens to be in? The article says that this is behind the training grounds of Manchester United, which, you know, could be true, but no random pictures of people in alleyways could ever be taken unless it's like evidence in a court case. Is he supposed to be the drug dealer who got snitched out by one of his former junkies? Okay, look, there's no shortage of blow in the Premier League, but they don't do deals behind dirty ass alleyways. This is the new main picture that Wikipedia has used for Dennis Irwin. It's much more respectable, it's a pretty small picture, at least they're not showing that one random picture of him behind a dirty alleyway. Uh, okay, so maybe they are, but they just stuck it at the bottom of the article. It's an improvement. Just to be clear, I got most of these pictures from like forums of bad Wikipedia pages and stuff like that, and if it wasn't for those forums, I'd have no idea who this guy is. Reynaldo Rueda. Not because he's not famous, but because he's famous in a country that doesn't speak English. And no, this isn't the bad picture of him. Okay, I mean, it's, it's not very good. It's, it's like tiny and grainy as shit. This is the one he currently has. Despite being appointed as a coach for both the, the FIFA World Cup teams of Colombia and Honduras, he apparently wasn't quite famous enough to have an actual picture of him for his Wikipedia page because I guess they had no choice but to use this random drawing of him. I get why it might have been difficult, as a coach, he was more behind the scenes of the action rather than, you know, on the pitch. But at the same time, like, come on. Surely he must frequent some kind of restaurant, right? Just take a picture of him while he's sitting down eating a spicy chicken dinner. Well, I'm finally done talking about sports. Because I'm going to talk about the WWE now. I know, I know. There's a huge debate whether, you know, a WWE is real or if it's fake. Well... It may still be real to you, but I'm not going to treat it as real. And I really shouldn't. I mean, you're forcing a bunch of guys in shiny underwear to fight in a boxing ring. The set's already there. It's a shiny action movie waiting to happen. I think I talked about the WWE a fair bit in my last video. And honestly speaking, I don't know why. It's even more baffling than the NBA. The WWE blows no, so much money into, like, Ridiculously complicated camera work into pyrotechnics, into flashing lights, in script writers. And of all the fighters, you know, before the fight, standing around looking, looking all, you know, mighty ready to take anything on with the terror, no, 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 going on in the background. As surely someone in the ridiculously high grandstands would at least know, zoom in and take a decent picture of them while they're all walking down, showing themselves off from former legends of a WWE stroke WWF, which is what it was called back then, and even wrestlers still in the ring today, have been done absolutely dirty by Wikipedia because there doesn't really seem to be any decent photos of them other than, you know, what the hired cameramen take of them, weirdly enough. And if Dominic Mysterio of all people have this picture as their main picture for Wikipedia, then what hope is there? Ah, uh, Don Mysterio. That's a name you're pretty familiar with, right? It, it surely should at least ring a couple bells. That's because you're thinking of Rey Mysterio. You know, the Lucha Libre guy in the WWE. Yeah, this guy. Well, Don Mysterio is his son. 
Not even Rey Mysterio and his millions and millions of nepotism bucks could afford his son a decent picture for his Wikipedia page. What's even more embarrassing about this picture is that this picture was actually taken earlier this year. You see, 2023, the earliest version I could find of this photo was that it was taken on the 16th of March, 2023. Don't most like even low budget smartphones have decent enough cameras in them now? The phone with the worst camera that I could find at my local JB Hi-Fi was this Nokia. Five megapixels generally caressing you up the front, a rough five megapixels in the rear. For reference, this is what a photo taken with a five megapixel camera looks like. Now compare that to the photo of Don Mysterio, taken in 2023. Even pictures with the old cheap Canon camera I got for my birthday many, many years ago look better than this. The only explanation I can give for this picture's low quality is that it was taken literally with the hot dog the guy bought at the cafeteria. Thankfully, this photo got removed on April 1st. Hey, April Fools. Now you get no picture. His new picture isn't fantastic either. It's weirdly pixelated everywhere but his face, which makes me think this image was touched up a little bit. Probably in some sort of proprietary... I can't fucking say this word. I've tried. But hey, it shows his face. This image could show the rest of his bandmates though. All of Jesse Ventura's pictures in the past have been terrible. In fact, they've been so bad that they've had to use this picture that was taken like just over 25 years ago. But that's more due to his rather questionable hairstyles as of late. You can't get a good picture out of a guy who looks like he'd fight you over ownership of the last hot chicken in the meat section. Going back to the entertainment industry, the non-sporty side of it, I'm going to talk about actors and actresses now. A lot of the actors and actresses working today have been around for a while. They've had many, many photos taken of them. And most of the photos you can find on the web are copyrighted. So sometimes, unfortunately, they're, they're left with unflattering photos. Unfortunately, sometimes fame and money can't bring you a good picture. At least not one that's copyright free. They're usually hiding away in their Hollywood Hills mansions behind a locked gate. So it is pretty hard to get a picture of them when they're like on the move and like not on the red carpet. One unfortunate victim of this in the past, what was Mr. Swanson himself, Mr. America, Nick Offerman. What exactly happened here? <laughs> like... My first thought was that, like, he, he dyed his hair and his beard for some kind of part, but, well, look, he, he's been in lots of movies, he's been in lots of plays as well. I remember, he met his wife when he was working on Broadway. But, look, I can't find anything. There are only three photos of a bleached Nick Offerman that I can actually find. This one, this one, probably taken at the same event, and this one, a much younger Nick Offerman, in a low-budget movie called Tuna, which also features a young Louis C.K. I've linked it in the description. Unfortunately, there's no sound, so... Nah. Ugh, damn. This video is like, what, nearly 13 minutes long already? Well, it's going to be a bit over 30 minutes because I'm coming up to my last category now. Musicians. You'd think it'd be a little bit easier to get photos of musicians, especially famous ones, because they're, they're, they're always on tour, always traveling in the world, or sort of traveling the world and the ticket prices go for like damn near as low as 20 bucks but of course it entirely depends on what stadium you're at where you know where the show is at and if you're like stuck up the back or, or not sometimes some musicians you, you can't even bloody see them because of the lighting and, and the pyrotechnics but having a bad wikipedia picture should not be a problem for someone like doja cat but on the 18th of may of this year she fell victim. What is this? I'd call it art, as you would too, but you can barely even see her, and like, she's in costume. I mean, why have that picture when she mostly looks like this? But that's a much, much better picture. Now, thankfully for Miss Cat, her picture was only up for about three days until Andrew, the Wikipedia editor, got into a bit of trouble with another editor. You'd think that a professional editor like Andrew, who's brave enough to put his own name as his actual profile name but regardless of how he or we feel about this picture it's not a good one it's blurry it's side on and she's in costume it had to be taken down 
Now the next bad picture, and the last one I'm going to talk about, is more understandable. This used to be the main picture of a death metal singer from Sweden. Now, of course, when you listen to Swedish de death metal, I'd imagine that your brain and your ears usually feel a little something like this. Now, the main English article for Jens Kidman, or Jens Kidman, I don't know. Well, uh, Mr. Kidman's main article has been deleted fr from English Wikipedia, but this is the Swedish Wikipedia, which is still up for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty funny and also pretty accurate, because if you Google his name, these are the sorts of images that show up on the first row. So even if the picture that they've chosen for him isn't like really the best and is kind of stupid, it's definitely accurate to his music, his personality, and who he is at the core of his soul. Well, that's it from me and Wikipedia for a little while. Just in case you need a quick refresh on why this video was made in the first place, I actually made another video about a month or two earlier about bad Wikipedia pictures that are still up and still in use. Look, I knew I had to create a video like this because, you know, when I was researching, some of these images have since been removed but are still up in the archives of Wikipedia. So, look, I had to showcase them. They're hilarious and even though they've been put out of service and have been humbly laid to rest, I feel it's respectful to pay homage to them. Let us gather here right now to take a moment of silence for these falling Wikipedia pictures and also contemplate on why some Wikipedia pictures are still in use if they're so bad. Thank you for being here with me. Least we forget. <laughs>